Hello, welcome into another episode of The Better Hour. I'm Alex Monaco, about to say what up to the rest of my co-hosts, Jeff, Katie, John, and our guy Sean Little in the building. What's good, guys? Coming off an of NBA offseason draft. Let's yeah, go. Yeah, let's the up. second season starts now. It's, it's, it's ready, ready to go. With a lot of, a lot of, a little bit of movement, but there's gonna be a lot more going on. It's but a fun night. It, 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 it is. It is. And, and the fun has just begun. But now we're gonna play coin flip. So Alex Monaco, take it away as our master of ceremonies. All right, we're getting into coin flip. We're gonna put our hosts against each other. Help you make a better educated bet for tonight. We're kicking it off with a little Sean versus Jeff in power play points. Sean, you got McCarr. Jeff, you got Hedman. Jeff, you're up second. Sean, you're up first. <laughs> yeah, I'm ready. Mind trick. I'm ready. Cam McCarr over. 0.5 power play points, two goals, three assists in his last two, three games on the power play. He's had 10 shots on goal. He's been aggressive. So I like this play. I'll take the plus 135 for one unit to win 1.35. I like it. McCarr is different. When you see him pick up the, the puck in the middle of the ice, he looks different, feels different. So the young, he's a young gunner for sure. Yeah, I mean, I think we're both going to score because I got Hedman and desperation breeds opportunity back against the wall. Whatever cliche you want to say, you're about to go home if you don't <laughs> win this game tonight. 50% of his points have come off of power play goals. He has nine power play points in 21 playoff games yeah. right now the lightning are kind of struggling at one for 14 in the in power play goals but i feel like if they do get the opportunity he's one of the prime targets to get get off get some get a, a goal on the power play plus 165 i, I like i like the value for, for there especially power play um yeah. goals you know power play points excuse me that would be goals or assists so that way we have two ways at least to we cash We just got to get the power play. To, we just right. got to get some power plays out and, there. And, and, so look, and look, with the you know hockey I mean? assist, it don't even got to be a direct assist. It could yeah. be the pass to the right. pass to right. the goal. So I, I think we have like three different ways that we can, we can win this. So I like it. I like them both. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. Up next, we're doing a little over or a little under. This is Katie versus John. Katie, you got under. Tell us why it's going under six. Well, as my guy Jeff likes to say, the coin betrayed me on this one. <laughs> <laughs> under. I'm not putting any units on the under, but I will explain to you why I don't think it's necessarily a bad bet. Well, Vasilevsky has been absolutely lights out, especially in that last game. That overtime was crazy. Avalanche should have scored at least 10 times before one questionable goal finally went in. He averages about 30 saves per game. The only time he had less than this, about 23, was back in game two when they lost 7-0, to zero, and that's not happening again. And actually, Kemper has been doing better, too. He had a bounce back from game three. He stopped 34 shots of 35 after letting that early goal come in. I feel like elimination games, people really clamp down. I'm still maybe taking the over on yeah. this one. But the under is not a bad bet because the goalies are doing better. Yeah. I'm definitely, you know, we, we talked about it a little earlier. The over is probably the play. Uh, yeah. It's been over three out of four games. The Avs in the last five, they're four and one in the over. Both goalies are defending almost 40 shots almost every game. It's an elimination game. The average is going to come out early. It might be an empty goal if it's if they're up for, you know, up enough. Yeah, um, true. It's a, it's a, it's, a, it's an easy play for me, and I put two units on Oof. that. Ooh, he so took my unit. I put two <laughs> right, units on right. that because <laughs> I do think this is going over. And I think it's going to be over pretty quickly. The empty net when you're on a total gets kind of spooky. It does. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, yeah, you know yeah, like please. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, now we are going right back to John. We got over on shots. John's got Kucherov, and Sean has Landis, Skog. I'm kicking it to you first, Henson. Kucherov has been the head honcho. The Lightning have gone as they've gone. He's had 23 points in the first three rounds with 3.5 shots on goal. He's been bottled up the first two. He came out really, really aggressive the last two, eight shots over the last two games. He has three assists and no goals, so he's, he's, he's trying to work his way back. I think tonight is elimination. He's going to come out aggressive, strong, and ready to put some shots on that goal. Yeah, I have Landeskog over two and a half shots, minus 170 for one unit. Landeskog has scored the first goal in four of the Avalanche's last six games against the Lightning. I know that's a mouthful, but what I'm saying is he likes to put the puck on net. Right. He gets aggressive. Right. So that's why I'm going on the over here. Over two and a half shots in an elimination game, like you said. Yeah. There's, there's, people are going to be aggressive, and I think Landis Cog is going to be that way. I got over two and a half shots, minus 170. Uno unit. I like both. I like yeah. both of those. Yeah. Let's all cash, yeah, cash yeah, them all. Yeah, yeah, let's cash them all. 
All right, last but not least. Now we got to talk about who's going to win the game five. Jeff, you have the Lightning. Katie, you have the Avalanche hoisting the Stanley Cup. Jeff, you're up first. Well, the coin didn't betray me as much, <laughs> but I would have loved that the coin would have flipped the, yeah. uh, the other way. Having said that, Vasilevsky has his lost an elimination game since 2019. So that, that's one of the biggest insurance okay. policies that you can have. 30-plus saves over the course of the Stanley Cup final. Yeah, some are going to go in, but he's blocking a whole lot of shots. They've faced two elimination games in this playoff, both against the Maple Leafs, and, you know, that probably has an asterisk because Toronto has just been cursed <laughs> right. in the playoffs for, for a minute now. Four and one in their last five games, road underdog. Five and one in their last six games in Colorado. Plus 150, I put a unit on it because all signs point to them extending the series. Wouldn't be surprised if it was over either, but I think this is a solid bet to make because we want it to continue, and, and Vasilevsky is a good person to bet on to keep it going. Absolutely. Well, the coin has redeemed itself. I, I am the Chiefs in the Chiefs-Bills scenario here. Right. And taking the Avalanche to win Game 5, they are hot, hot, hot at home. They are 7-2-0 at home in the postseason this year. They're also 59-13 and straight up in their last 72 home games as a favorite. They're averaging 4.44 goals per game as a home favorite as well. And the Lightning coming off of that deflating, questionable loss, that's a big bounce back to ask for them on this one. Kucherov also not 100%. They're dealing with some injuries. So I like the abs to win it. Not to mention two overtime losses, right, from the Lightning, too. So these could have – we could oh. talk about yep. – the coin could have been right for me in this situation, <laughs> but it isn't. Well, you got to win the game. So could've. I think we're, we have an interesting one there.